welcome back to the channel for anyone new here my name is John a photographer and videographer based in the Lake District UK and for anyone who's been here since the start of this channel back in November 20 you'll notice I've got a brand new backdrop to these videos so the past backdrop was a bit cluttered a bit messy and it was too many distractions so what I've done is I've moved my desk around in this small very small room and placed it in the middle of the room it's really not practical at all. I've got to actually climb under the desk to get out of this room, but never mind. Gotta do what you gotta do for these videos. And I think this backdrop's gonna work really well. So let me know in the comments below what you think of it and what you think I'm missing. It'd be great to get some tips from everyone to help develop this backdrop because I think it's gonna work really well. It's really clean and it'll help me create better thumbnails as well. So yeah, let me know below, that'd be fantastic. So in today's video, I wanna talk about landscape photography and my biggest piece of advice I can offer. Basically the subject of this video is going to be all about thinking outside the box. So it's very easy to rock up to a place in the Lake District especially or any kind of picturesque place and take that classic shot. So in the case of the Lake District the classic shot for me that I see a lot of is the jetties or piers that we have on all the um, patches of water in the National Park. Don't get me wrong, this is not me knocking anyone who's taken these shots. I've taken these shots as I'm gonna show you. But what I want to kind of get across is, you can take these shots, but let's start thinking outside the box. How can we mix it up a little bit? Because when you go on the Lake District hashtag on Instagram, you're gonna see these shots. And like I said, there are a dime a dozen, there's so many of them. So I wanna go through how different ways that we can mix it up a little bit still include the jetty in the image but we're just going to like I say think outside the box and try and uh, vary the types of shots that we take so the classic shot of a jetty in the Lake District is one a bit like this one and as you can see it's, it's a good shot it's got the pier front and center nice and symmetrical and then we've got leading your eye down the jetty or pier whichever way you want to call it into the um, background of Coniston on the other side. Like you say, it's a perfectly acceptable shot. Like you said, there's thousands of these types of images on Instagram or Facebook or wherever you post them. Um, but what I wanna do is I wanna show you from the same location, a couple of different images that I've taken, one on the same day, one on a different day, where I've still incorporated the jetty into the image, but I've just changed it up a little bit. So the first example is this one here. On a different day, had some amazing golden light. It looked fantastic. So what I did was, I went low to the ground, changed my point of view, and changed the focus point. So what I've done is I've focused just a few feet in front of me, and you can see all the details in the jetty, all the twigs and stones and leaves, that kind of thing. Then it's leading you in down the jetty, and then that's where it goes out of focus. And then you can just see that golden light behind, and then you can't really see much of the background. I really like this shot. It's like I say, very simple shot, handheld, nice and low to the ground, changing the focal point of just a few feet and then showing off that amazing light that we had that sunset. Nothing wrong with this image, like the first one, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just a way of mixing it up a little bit. You've changed the angle, you've changed the focus point and it's, it's an image that stands out in my opinion. I, I really like it. It's a little bit different. And that's the main thing about today of thinking outside the box is to be a little bit different from the norm. So the second example is this one here, which was taken on the same day as my first image. But what I've done is I've just stood back, had a look at my surroundings and thought, how can I frame this shot better? So what I've done is I've taken a few steps back, gone in towards the trees, which uh, surround the pier. And what I've used is the trees and the bushes and whatnot to frame the shot. So again, it's a, just a different point of view. So when you go, come to these kind of locations, don't just rush in, take the shot that you want to get, that you've got in your head and then go. Take a few seconds, have a breather, have a look around and think, right, how can I incorporate this jetty, but just a little bit differently than just standing in front of it, front and center, bang. So like I say, I've gone a few steps back, framed the jetty and the landscape with the bushes and the trees. And again, I really like this shot. It's a little bit different. It's something that I put onto my website because I just really like it. It's a little bit different. I don't think I've seen this shot. And if I have, it's only been a few times on Instagram compared to the traditional 
front and center symmetrical image. So there's just two examples of how you can be in the same location but take two very different images. Like I say, there's nothing wrong with that first one. You want to get that symmetrical shot or the same shot but a long exposure, which you do see a lot of. Again, look fantastic. I've taken that image. I'm sure hundreds, thousands of people have. It's a great shot. But like I said, take a few moments to have a look at your surroundings and start thinking, how can I make this different? So that's the biggest takeaway. Think outside the box. So if you like this video and you thought this tip was helpful, hit that like button, that'd be absolutely amazing, thank you. Share it if you can, that'd be even better to help grow this channel. Because it, as my previous video says, I've got some goals that I want to achieve with this channel moving into 2021, so I would appreciate anything that you can offer with regards to likes, subscribes and uh, sharing, that would be amazing. Oh and don't forget that notification bell, because I know a lot of people are missing out on these videos because they haven't hit that notification bell. I'm talking to you, and uh, you know who you are, so hit that bell so you don't miss out. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.